And do you know someone in their mid-twenties or early thirties still living at home with mum and dad? Or maybe they're still figuring out their career path and showing no signs of raising a family anytime soon. Well, scientists have now come up with a name to describe this type of young person. They're called kidults because they still haven't got over many of their adolescent phases. During the war years, adulthood was thrust upon young people. It was normal for 17 and 18 year olds to be at work, married and juggling a family with at least two children. But the days of growing up fast are declining, according to scientists at the University of Pittsburgh. The transition from child to adult is traditionally marked at 18. But professors believe that grown up age is now closer to 25 and could even stretch until early 30s. The new trend has been dubbed kidulthood. Experts say putting off responsibilities like marriage, a career and parenthood encourages the brain to stay in a state of adolescence. The part of the brain which controls adult-like reasoning is active in young people, but it's often trumped by hormones which encourage risk-taking and trying new experiences. Well, there you go. So are kids these days growing up a lot later in life or are they facing more pressures which prevent them from growing up? Let's find out, shall we? I'm joined by the journalist and father of three, Christopher Middleton. Right. We're also joined tonight by writer Deborah Sikarel. Good to see you tonight, Deborah. Good to see you as well, Chris. Um, now, would you agree with these findings, Deborah? Let's start with you. Do you class yourself as a kidult? Definitely. I think Why the that? idea of growing up is terrifying. <laughs> and even though I'm working and getting married in a few weeks, I still feel like I'm just a kid. And a lot of people who are even older than me said they feel like they'll never be an adult. So quite, you've got quite an interesting situation. You're 24 years old, right? Yep. You're living at home with your folks. Yep. But you're getting married in a few weeks' time, which is a huge grown-up decision, yep. isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, the grown-up part of it hasn't really sunk in yet. Um, <laughs> To me, I haven't really realised, it hasn't really sunk in that I'm going to be moving out of home, but hopefully we will be moving out um, just as soon as we're married, so right. in a few weeks. <laughs> but you may move back in with mum and dad after the wedding, um, is that right? Well, if we magically manage to find somewhere to live in the next <laughs> two weeks, we'll move out, otherwise we may have to move back in for a couple of Fair weeks. Fair enough. Chris, let's talk about your situation, bring you into the chat now. You're a proud dad of three, two girls and one boy. I've got Indeed. a photograph of your lovely family, actually. No, they're gorgeous. There you go. Yes. Um, yeah, and one of your daughters now. did return home after a while. Yeah, well, both of them have come home straight after university. What yes. was that like? Um, hell for a while. <laughs> um, but uh, we uh, rather persecuted them. We gave them a little, you know, suggested they pay rent and, and do various things to just make it sort of slightly unpleasant, like the lionesses move their cubs out. And that's what we did. And, th and then they uh, eventually... Um, uh, got, got their own places and are much happier since doing that. Ah, mm. so Deborah, is it just a bit too comfortable for you at home? What if, if your parents took a leaf out of Chris's book, what do you think you would do? Uh, well, now, fortunately, I'm in a situation where I'm earning enough that I could move out, but previously I would have never been able to do all the unpaid work experience and all the internships that I've done um, if my parents hadn't lived in London and if they hadn't minded me staying at home. So, Chris, what do you think is going on here? If you compare you at 18 to your yes. children, what's changed? Well, I think parents are softer these days. Uh, <laughs> there's a certain amount of fleeing um, when I left home. I mean, as soon as you returned from university, you'd had three years of, uh, of uh, complete um, uh, freedom, I suppose, and, the, and, then you, and then you left and you didn't really want your parents um, looking over your shoulder. But I think now parents aren't quite so stern. Maybe they're a bit softer. They want them to live at home. Mm -hmm. I suppose the big yeah. question is, but are you willing to slum it? it? Could you go and live in a flat that's not as nice as your parents' home? It's obviously going to cost you less. Are you sure? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I've <laughs> stayed in the most disgusting youth hostels known to man, and I definitely could do it. Could. And I suppose, Chris, to, mm. to be fair, it's so much more expensive these days, isn't it? Rent, it, it, buying yes. somewhere is almost impossible. Yes. Well, I think my first rent was £47 a week. And I know How much it, were you earning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, we, didn't, we didn't have a lot to spare, actually. And that's maybe, I wonder, a question now. That young people perhaps want to have you know, money for the weekend. And I'm, I don't know that we did. We used to you know, survive on dripping. And... So, big question, Deborah. At what age do you think you will, you will become an adult? A proper adult? Go on, you're 24 Never. now. How long is it going to take? 30? <laughs> um, I think, for me, the bit where you really cross the threshold and become an adult is when you have a baby, because that's when you really ah. yourself stops being a priority. <laughs> do you agree true. with that? Definitely, yes. yes. <laughs> There's plenty of adult who waiting for Isn't it for nice you. for parents yeah. to have their kids for a bit longer these days? Oh, it is. And also, once, they, once they've left home and come back, it's a different, it's a, you're reunited. It's a much happier relationship, I think. OK, we appreciate you coming on, guys. Thank Thanks very much. And the best of luck for your wedding as Thank well, Deborah, in a few weeks' time. <laughs> Thank you.